video is brought to you in part by Old Spice Crack and Guard Body Wash and Crack and Guard Body Spray. I feel like I should participate in that. I mean, all I did was spray. Uh, this video is brought to you in part by Old Spice Crack and Guard Body Wash and Body Spray. All right, anyway, so this is the Crack and Guard. A lot here lately and I love like lapel de la Hiva things like that using the lapel guard um, so this kind of just meshed together in my mind one day and tried it out in class a few times it's been working really well so I thought I'd share it with you guys okay so we're starting one, this is one thing like you're told when you're playing like lapel de la Hiva to not trap your own leg okay they, they tell you once you come here and then put your hook back in so your legs free to do wrestle ups and things like that okay so we're gonna like go against that rule when I pass the lapel under to trap my own leg here, okay? And I get this under grip. Because this, look, I can fold my wrist over and kind of do this, but this is nowhere near as effective. I grab here, underhand, and I lock this elbow here, okay? I'm between this foot and this. Okay, this keeps this locked. When I'm here, if I pull up to my shin here, he's trapped. Um, so I've got this level of control here. All right, now whenever I come in, and lock in the K, okay, this is a whole nother level. Okay, I've got this knee here, I've got this pinched, and this is my cracking guard, okay, right here. Got control, got him pressured in. You thought the De La Hiva was good? No, this right here, okay, this is awesome. Um, I've just been playing with this position just so people can get out of it. I have an extremely hard time. By the time they stand up, they almost kind of fall over, okay? So from here, I've got this, I've got this as a frame. All right, now, if you want to just go into some of the easy sweeps from here, like total control sweeps, is if they, this is all they can really address is this leg. Okay, this is going nowhere for them. I'm gonna grab the sleeve, clear this grip. You can go spider, I really like to go lasso here. Okay, I go lasso, pull in tight. Okay, now, for an easy sweep, take your lasso foot, you're gonna bring it to the inside behind his knee. So I've got the really deep inside lasso here. Now watch, all I gotta do is turn both knees that way. Okay, super easy sweep. Okay, you can use the spider, you can get creative with it, but another option to get into this really quickly is you can go from shin to shin here. If you like playing shin to shin, you can pass this under. Okay, remember that when I pass it under, I've gotta get this overhand grip for the best grip here. Then I can just drop in right into it and lock it in. All right, once I'm locked in here, that's when I can start playing with my lasso guard there. I can always like keep readjusting, getting this tighter and getting deeper under the legs. You can play a lot of your X guard series here as well. Um, if I come here, I can sit out and go for like my matrix to this side, sorry Clay. Um, if you, it depends on what you like, but all your K guard, X guard, all those options can come from here. But I have this level of control with the lapel. That's just awesome, okay? Now, one thing that has been working extremely well is passing the grip off here. Just like you kind of would like on a worm guard from the other side, passing this off here. Okay, when this happens, especially when they're trying to like really posture and figure a way out of this and they're coming up, okay, I'm going to take this foot here and I'm going to put it right on the hip, right on the inside here on the hip. Okay, when this happens, I'm pinching my legs. Now, this is keeping this exposed. It's going to be really hard for him to hide this from me. So I can dig the straight ankle. I put this, when I put this over here, so you can see it, I can go on the outside here, but look, if I'm inside the lapel, he can't push my foot off. It's kind of stuck in his lapel. So when I do this, I gas pedal, okay? I pinch and I gas pedal as I collect here. There. Now, this is deep, guys. I can feel his ankle right here. Just, there's just one arm. I keep this. Okay, all I gotta do here, gas pedal, boom, right there. Okay, I've got the ankle. I've got the ankle sideways here and I'm laying on it. What, you, you rarely sprain your ankle running straight. It's when you roll it sideways. It's like, like a toe hold works. That's the position I'm laying on it. And then bam, there's the pop. Okay? That's a great attack from there. It's probably my favorite submission from the Kraken Guard. Um, if you want to get real devastating though, I can come in here and get the Aoki lock. Okay? Here, if I get him extended and let's say I'm 
I'm trying to move the leg over. I can get the leg here and I can push the leg over to here. I got him cut in my gi. I can push the leg over and start going for the back here. Okay, but let's say I've got like halfway there and he, he stops me. Okay, from here I'm gonna set up and dig. When I dig this aoki lock, his toes are in my armpit and I turn the heel inward. Okay, so it's, it's almost like a heel hook here. Okay, and it doesn't feel good. When I attack and stay tight, I can bridge in this way with it. I can take it back there, and that's going to be a pretty devastating submission. It is IBJJF legal, but it's one of those like on the line, sneaky, kind of tricky things. I am attacking straight ankle lock, but it's it's not a straight ankle. Okay, it's it's kind of like a heel hook. Okay, but those are some good submission options and sweep options from the Kraken Guard. Okay, um, the K and K Guard now stands for Kraken. Um, any questions on that, comments on that, you know where to leave them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Clayzilla. He's our resident Kraken here. Um, Old Spice did not sponsor this video. <laughs> <laughs> Wish it did. Release the Kraken! About earlier, what if I'm going to pass this over and they turn the foot inward here, okay? They turn it in like this. He was asking, like, what about, like, an estima lock from the bottom or something? Like, since I have this level of control, I can sit. Let's turn this way a little bit. I can sit up and collect here, okay, and put pressure. Especially if he's trying to, like, step into me, I can continue to put pressure back on the ankle, okay? It may pop it. It may just scare them to where they kick their foot out here, which is fine, and I take the bat. When we go for this, and I'm here, I can't, I can't put my foot right in the lapel. I can like cradle it in his lapel, okay? And then drop in. So it's just kind of nested down in there. He's not gonna be able to get that foot out, okay? I can also just come under the lapel here to the inside, there. Either way, it's gonna be very effective. From here also, if I'm not too tied up in the lapel, I can extend him. I can extend and start coming up. Okay, I've got this leg shelved. I can come up for a wrestle up. That really pins that leg down very well. So now we're combining that aggressive high attacking K guard mixed in with our safe lapel guard, which is just an awesome recipe. So you, you get the daily and then you get the, get the lapel in. Mm -hmm. if, if I start attacking on this and trying to turn, mm -hmm. is there like, I'm gonna have to get, I really have to get to your grip to do anything. Yeah. I mean, I, even if I start getting my knee out, like you can still come to the inside. Yeah. Which is exactly what's been happening. Yeah. People are defending that De La Hiva, yeah. pushing the knee yeah. there. And when I get this angle, you, put, you just push my yeah. knee into place. Right. So it, it's, it's really good. <laughs> it's, it's been working extremely well here. And I've just been getting locked in here. And honestly, I've been able to play here, just staying here quite a bit. Okay, because any way you try to go, I have options. It's, uh, yeah, I think I and I can always start coming around here. I can start passing your leg over. I've got like a ton of options here, and yours is pretty much like hold on and try to figure something out. Yeah. Okay. Start turning towards you. It's going down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure at some point someone's going to come up for a defense for this. It always happens, but right now, no one's hit one yet. Once you get it locked in, it is a very secure position. Go from the like we did the other night. You can go from that cross lapel. And do the same kind of thing uh -huh. if you can get enough slack to get it over there. Yeah. Um, also on this, you can go from the cross lapel over here, like like where you normally go for worm guard over on this side or something. You can use it to come across as well. When you're coming in for this and coming in, I don't, I haven't done this one as much, just because it's a, it's very rarely you're gonna get people with lapels long enough to do all this. Everyone's like trying to get the shortest lapels they can. Um, and I like to just attack this one side because I can do everything this way, just control this one side. This is an option though if you want to play around with it, getting this far side here. But like I said, it's uh, you know, this is probably his biggest gi he has. <laughs> Normally that lapel's over right here, super tight. Also, it could be stuck in the belt. So I have a lot more leeway with this side, okay? Locking this in here.